Welcome back to Drug Talk, everybody. In today's video, I want to quickly go over three things that you should know before using Effexor or Venlafaxine. Number one, antidepressants such as Effexor take some time to reach maximum effect. As a rule of thumb, you should notice some resolution of your symptoms of depression within one to two weeks, but it could take four to six weeks, or in some cases even longer, to reach maximum benefit. For this reason, it's important not to give up on the medication in the early stage of therapy, but really try to make it to that one or two month mark before you make the decision of whether or not this is the right medication for you. Having said this though, some patients will need to stop using the medication in the early phase of therapy due to side effects. Number two, you should be aware of brain zaps or electric shock syndrome. Some people have reported brain zaps or brain shivers after missing a dose of Effexor. People have often described these sensations as very brief, repetitive, shock-like feelings that seem to be confined to the brain or head. Due to this withdrawal symptom, it's important to take action steps to help yourself better remember to take your dose daily on schedule. An example of one of these steps could be something as simple as setting a notification reminder on your cell phone that reminds you to take your dose each day. Also, due to this withdrawal effect, it's important to note that if you decide to stop using Effexor altogether, not to stop the medication cold turkey, rather taper off the medication slowly with a plan designed by your physician and pharmacist. And number three, there is a black box warning associated with antidepressants like Effexor. In the United States, the FDA issued a black box warning in October of 2004 to Benlafaxine and some other antidepressants after they found in placebo control trials that adolescents and children were at an increased risk of experiencing suicidal thoughts and behaviors. For this reason, we now monitor all antidepressant-treated patients for symptoms of worsening of depression as well as symptoms of suicidal thoughts or behaviors. You can expect this to be monitored during your physician appointments as well as occasionally when you pick up refills at the pharmacy. That's all we're going to talk about today with three things you should know about Effexor or Venlafaxine. But before you take off, I wanted to quickly let you know that you can check out my new book, the fifth episode, Inside the Manic Mind, by clicking on a link in the description of this video. Take care.